Yo, yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Sick. God bless, and I am back for new Bleach Rebirth for Souls character reveal trailer for y'all. We eating Bleach fans. We are eating Bleach fans. So, for the past two Mondays, they've been giving us some character trailers. Last week, we got Rukia, Ichigo, and Uryu dropped all at once. Now, we got Byakuya Kuchki. The sixth division captain of the 13 court guard squads. So we're going to go over his move lifts. We're going to break it down, see what's it about. And I'm going to give you my thoughts on it and so on and so forth. So before we get started with the video, please hit the like button. I greatly appreciate it. It helps the channel out. It gets the video out there to more people. And that would be a big help. So please hit the like button. Also, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. So let's get going. So it says, Captain of the Squad Six, a tactician who adapts his fighting style dependent on the situation and uses Senbon Zakura to cut down his enemies. So the first attack looks like it's part of his basic attacks and I don't know if it's only three hits or we're only catching it at the end of the combo, but on the last hit, he launches the opponent up in the air and he shoots a keto blast at them. So that's the first attack that we see in this trailer. So moving on, we got signature move and it talks about Senbon Zakura seal and release. And it says a technique that switches between seal and release forms that when used properly will maintain a distance advantage over Biakia's opponent. So when I read this, it makes me think of Biakia being a stance character and to think of having stance characters in a bleach arena fighter is crazy and i'm very excited about that but basically it seems like you could switch back and forth between using his regular sword attacks and using his shikai ability which is symbol zakura so his regular sword attacks is most likely going to be quicker but shorter reach and his symbol zakura attacks is going to be more reach but obviously a little bit slower because it's going to cover more of a wide area. So moving on, we're going to talk about his spiritual pressure moves. And the first one is release symbol Zakara, seal symbol Zakara. Attack it from all directions with a visible blade. The technique changes depending on the form symbol Zakara is activated in. In the release form, it draws in an opponent while in the seal form, it blows the opponent away. So basically, depending on what stance you have symbol Zakara in, is either released or under release or sealed, it will have different properties of how the move will work. Overall, the move is an area of attack around the move, so it covers all around him. So it's going to be hard to get away from this move. But if it's in the release form, it draws the opponent in like a vacuum effect. And maybe you could cancel with reverse action and continue the combo that way. And in the seal form, it blows the opponent back away from him. So it's like, get off of me. It's like, get off of me move when it's sealed. But it's a vacuum effect and a potential combo starter if released. So moving on to the spiritual pressure move, it says that won't touch me. Can block your opponent attack and follow by a counterattack with a keto ability, Soul Katsui. So basically, this is a parry. So we see that Uryu has a parry, and we see that Biaki has a parry. So that kind of lends to the theme that zoner type characters in the game will have some type of parry. Because obviously, there's going to be a lot of rush down in this game because the majority of cats are going to be rush down heavy. And the more slower zoner type of character even though biaki is a hybrid they gonna need a move for you to get them off of them because one they zoning capabilities may be slower or they're just not good up close in general biaki's case seems like when he's in symbol zakara stance that his zoning capabilities is a little bit slower than just shooting projectiles at you so he has a parry for you to get off of him which is really really good so moving on from there, we're going to talk about Byakuya's Bankai, which is his awakening in this game. And his Bankai is Senbo Zakura Kageyoshi. And it says, when Bankai Senbo Zakura Kageyoshi is released, Senbo Zakura no longer changes forms and is fixed in a form that strengthens Byakuya mid to long range techniques, but weak in close combat. This technique is best used in a way that prevents opponents from getting too close. So basically, he's going to be an all-out zoner from mid to long range when he's in Awakening using his Bankai. And to me, even though it says that, he might seem to be weaker 
than fighting directly up close. The moves cover directly in front of him. It doesn't. It does not like it's like a really big gap between the Sembon Zakura pedals and where his placement is at when the first move come out. So I don't think he's going to be weak from being up close either. And balancing wise, that could be a problem, but who knows? We also see Biyaka do a burst reverse and that is tied to the reverse action. And you know it's a burst reverse because it's blue and burst reverse is the get off me. Like if uh, it cancels the opponent action, and I, I'm pretty sure you gain some invincibility. You knock the opponent back, you knock them away from you, and and that's um, showcased within the animation of Biyaka doing the burst reverse. And you could tell he using the Senkei. The Senkei sword is just appearing from within his hand, and he's knocking an opponent back away from him, which is dope. So that's really good attention to detail. I also remember that when you use the burst reverse, you also get back some of your guard gauge as well. So that's pretty good as well. And we get a little glimpse and clips of a whole bunch of Biyaku moves at the end. And this says Biyaku Kushiki squad says can fight at any distance due to Sembozaka ability to change forms. So yeah, that's pretty much all they show for this trailer. And I'm glad that Biyaku is just not a pick up and go character. Like you have to really understand his move sets and learn how to fight between release and sealed Sambo Zaka, which is really, really dope. And I'm so glad. And it fits his character. Like he's just he's he's a thought out character. And he's very strategic when he fights. So it fits his character. And I'm glad that is the case. One thing about this game is I hope that he have arc specific moves to characters. Cause Biakia should also have Donku, which would be dope, and he should also have Usemi. It's the Shihoin, the way the Shihoin flash step move that he used against the Zamari. Both moves he used against the Zamari fight, and I'll try to have it up on screen. But yeah, both moves he used against the Zamari fight, and I just hope that they have like variations where you could change it and customize arc specific moves, like, or he just have two different versions of himself and then you get this version and with different spiritual spiritual pressure moves and then you get the Ronka arc version with Don Cool and Usemi as a reverse action and so on and so forth but they probably not gonna go that deep into detail with it but yeah so that's pretty much the end of the road for this video this has been a bleach for birth of souls Yaki Okushiki character trailer breakdown video for y'all. Hopefully I was able to join you learn something new And if you was able to learn something new, please smash the like button. I greatly appreciate it Also, if you're new to the channel and you want more bleach rebirth of souls content Make sure you subscribe and stay tuned to that. But besides that hope all you have a nice day. God bless peace